Hi, I'm Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. Uh, welcome to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Are you? All right, let's get into some questions. Okay, let's go. All We've right. Got quite a few questions from everybody, which is great. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Just please, please keep sending them questions in. I've got heaps to get through. Get on. Okay, so we've got a couple of questions here that have been sent in regarding cremation, which is an interesting little topic. A lot of us are choosing to be cremated these days. First question, do cremation ashes get mixed up? Uh, that's a question I get asked quite a lot. Do you actually get the ashes of your own person? Because you wouldn't know. Yeah, well, you guys wouldn't know, but yeah, yes, you definitely get the ashes of your loved one. Uh, we cannot put lots and lots of coffins in to the crematorium. Now what happens is and um, the machines can only fit one coffin in and the process is it's on a kind of a roller which when the um, door is open because you've got an intense heat uh, in the cremator the, um, the coffin will be rolled through into the and the process is it will burn and burn in the coffin will go. Once it's finished, once the cremation's all finished um, the operator then scrapes all the ashes, what we call ashes in the end that's left and there's some large pieces left and stuff and that gets scraped in, there's a hole just at the front and there's actually a big Collection. box yeah. Yeah, that collects all the ashes and everything gets put into that box which that box has the name plate on from the coffin. Oh, okay. Um, so we know who that belongs to and that gets processed in another room to go down and get pulverized into tiny ashes and then we can then put a next one in now it is cleared out and yeah we can only do one at a time that's okay assured. that's yeah. a good answer yeah all right um i've got a question now based on what you've just said that you're probably not expecting but anyway we'll yeah. see how you go with it and my question to you is how do they pulverize everything down okay after all the ashes are scraped and they're larger pieces which is usually bone like femur that sort of thing big bones yeah the big bones are, are not cremated right down uh, still sizable pieces so uh, they get taken scraped into this big box which is then transferred into a new a different room and it's put into a machine that basically looks like a washing machine it's a big drum machine that has um ball bearings in but big ball bearings in and it's spun all right and that just pulls smashes it all everything down to ashes to, uh, to make anything but if anybody's got artificial limbs like uh, titanium hip replacements or knee joints they're still solid uh, they get taken out and obviously put to one side you know do the family get them back I suppose if they request them back, they could yeah. possibly get them back. But yeah, but that's how we get them ashes down to the fine okay. ashes that you get. Yeah. Then you get your person back. Yes. Okay, so next question came in the other day. How long does a cremation take? Um, average um, anywhere from an hour to a couple of hours. It depends on the really? size. So it's not days? No, 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 oh, no, no. Okay. It really depends on the size of the body. Oh. The average... Like me and you might take an hour cookies. to two hours, but once you start getting bigger and you know you get really, really large and you get into the obese side of people, it can take you know four or five hours. And how do they know it's done? Um, the machine um, is all programmed, and I'm not quite exactly sure of how, but there's actually a peephole in yeah. the, uh, the door. Uh huh. Uh, and you can clearly see there's nothing left. It's a good one, actually, yeah. Excellent. All right, can a family watch a cremation is another question that came into us. Yeah, and yes, hmm. yes, they can. Witness cremations uh, can happen quite often. Sometimes um, it's a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. um, there's some cultures that do witness uh, the cremation of their loved ones. What, like the whole thing or just the start of it, or what do they watch? They can stay there for the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, it has to be obviously organized because what has to happen is um, the crematorium needs to know because they'll have to shut everything down. They'll have to stop the production. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a bit of a timely thing where they'll set aside a few hours for you know, that family to come in and then they witness the insertion of the body uh, in, in the coffin because uh, we don't, don't take bodies out of coffins, no. so they stay in the coffin, yeah. the coffin burns also. Yeah. Uh, and they, they witness it with the, um, the crematorium staff uh, supervising because obviously they have to be quite away from that environment because yeah. it's quite hot near the uh, cremator. So yeah. yeah, but yeah, you can witness yeah, your 
love one. Yeah. What sort of a percentage of people that go through um, your funeral home would choose to be cremated over, over being buried? Uh, I think it's uh, probably a 70-30%. Cremation? Yeah. Really? Yeah, most people get cremated these Is days. Is that because it's cheaper? It is cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, because when you're buried, you've got to buy a burial plot. It's like buying real estate. Yeah. It costs a lot of money, and then you have the upkeep of that plot of land. And also, if you're being interred into a mausoleum or anything like that, you have to buy that, and yeah. you have to maintain it. So it's a costly um, process being buried. So, and land, I know Australia is a big country, but land, you know, is running out in other places. So cremation is taking over burials. Yeah. Okay, so that's cremations in a nutshell. But if you guys have got any questions, don't forget, put them below, yeah. like this video and like, subscribe. Like, like, yeah, subscribe, share, share, share. Because everybody wants to see Calvin and his multitude of hats. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank see you, you next time. Bye. Seal. Hit. Action.